What's up, buddy? Cool kids. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is Daisy Collins of TsunamiRose.net coming at you live from my craft room here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Hi, Miss Beverly. What's going on, lady? Um, as I do Tuesday through Friday, bringing you drunk journal content and videos, and we'll be back to some content and junk journal videos soon. <laughs> this is pretty much the last video on these pillows because I'm pretty much done. Hi, Kimberly. Hi, Patricia. Hi, Marty. Welcome, ladies. I'm pretty much done after, after tonight. I'm pretty much finished here. <clears throat> so I thought I'd bring you along for the last part. I did finish my friend's pillow pillows and i gave them to her today um but i didn't get these uh this one done here so i'm getting it done and i'm adding my little fabric window squares in the middle here with some glue previously i had used pins but you know what glue is actually better <laughs> the glue works a lot better so i've honestly i've just been using glue because Pins would get me, and it would be so annoying when they would get me, but they'll get you. They will get you eventually. <laughs> so I'm like, you know, let's just do some glue. I've seen other people do it. So if anybody else, somebody else did it. I don't know. And it worked. <laughs> Hi, Monique. What's up, lady? What's up, what's up? Also, my sewing machine, I have come to the conclusion that my sewing machine needs to be serviced. So I will be turning her in to the sewing machine people. I don't know, <clears throat> I don't know if I'll go live during that time until I get it back. Um, so I might be taking a little bit of a break here soon. Because I won't have my sewing machine. I do everything on my sewing machine. Y'all already know. I always use my sewing machine. And it's like I should just wait till I get it back. Just take a little break, Daisy. I do normally take a break about once a year. <laughs> about once a year, I do take a little bit of a break. And um, so we'll see about that. So let me. Pam, hi Pam. How are you, dear? And somehow these pillows, they ended up being smaller than they're supposed to be. I don't know what happened. I really, truly don't know what happened. This one's still 20 inches. I don't know what happened with the other one. The other one ended up 19 by 19. And is it because I... No, this one's also over 20 inches. I don't know what happened with the other one. So <laughs> I am officially confused as to what happened. Okay, so um, here, let me get back to where it was, like this. Okay. And then what else? What else? What else? What else? Oh, yeah. So I don't know if you guys saw, but on my last video, also my walking foot had issues. Um, I was able to contact the company that I bought it from, and I guess normally they wouldn't help me, but I guess they're going to help me, because <laughs> they said that their warranty for their parts um, is only up to 30 days, and it's been, I think, 60 with mine. I think it's been about two months since I've had it. And I was just like, that seems unfair. Like, I told the guy, I'm like, that seems a little unfair. And he's like, well, that's our official policy. And he said, oh, you got a tumbler he pressed? Oh, have fun, Monique. And so the guy said, you know, normally we don't. He's like, the policy is 30 days. He's like, but I'll talk to somebody and I'll let you know what they say. So, hang on, I'm looking for the black fabric one. This one I already used. Um, he's like, so I'll talk to my manager and then I'll let you know. And I was nervous all day. 
is a $50 part. You know, it's not cheap. It wasn't not cheap. And for it to not work in 30 days, I mean, in 60 days, I think it's ridiculous. Yeah, only 30 days for defective parts. Can you believe it? 30 days for defective parts. <clears throat> the oil didn't help at all. So luckily, the guy called me back. And he's like, uh, yeah, my manager said that she's heard of that before. And she's like, so he's like, so I can either give you your money back or I can send you a new one. But you just so you know that it might happen again. I said, send me a new one. I said, just send me a new one. I didn't tell him, but I'll just keep it oiled. Maybe if I keep it oiled, it won't grind down. That's my thought process. That's what I'm thinking. If I don't have another one of these black squares, I'm going to scream. <laughs> but, oh no, here it is. Oh, thank goodness. I knew I did it. So they're going to send me a new one, and I'm just going to keep it oiled. And hopefully that's good enough. But they said that they've heard that happening before which is odd, I find, a little bit odd. Okay, I think I, oh, I didn't glue this one down. Because <clears throat> I do, I love my walking foot. Oddly enough, though, on this pillow, which is technically the third pillow I make of this batch here, um, I did it a lot better. The stitches look a lot better with my regular foot, which is just hilarious. Just hilarious. <clears throat> All right, let me do these squares here in the middle first. And then we'll do the other squares. Oh, what, what's supposed to go here? A yellow one. Oh, 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 what did I do? Here it is. <clears throat> yeah, so I'll just have to um keep it oiled. Keep an eye on it, keep it oiled. But I guess they do that? I don't know. I didn't know it was going to be a problem. But apparently it's a problem. Okay. Somehow, I don't know how this pillow, these two pillows are still 20 by 20. My other pillow ended up being about 19. Somehow. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Okay, so hang on. Let me get my sewing machine. Ugh. Oh, yeah. Also, my sewing machine is making noises. Like, it's making a little noise. Which is why I'm saying it needs to go to the, um, to the care person. Oh, look, I'm out of bottom. Right out of bottom. <laughs> um, so if you hear some noise, I know I gotta get it. I'm gonna get it fixed. Right after Thanksgiving, um, I'll go take it to the, to the repair person. I figured I might as well, I want to finish this pillow. Not that it's like, not that it really matters, but <laughs> I want to finish this, these friggin' pillows. So if you hear a noise, yeah, I know. I know, I know. It hurts me too. <laughs> but I figured the guy said he had it over a year. And then I got it. So, you know, it just makes sense that it would need to, to be serviced. It makes a little bit of sense. I don't know if you can see my little... My little Bucky's there. <laughs> Is this not glued out? Oh my gosh, Daisy. I swear. Hi, Cheryl. Happy early Thanksgiving to you too, dear. Before the rush happens, right? Before the rush. Okay, so let's get these pillows done before I give up on my sewing machine for a while. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. 
Okay, okay, here we go. I'm starting with the middle one here. Pulled over the edge. I'm setting my... I think I did it on 2.5 for this one. Yeah, I think I did. I just got my regular straight stitch. <clears throat> I need to get a little bit closer. I always have to get close to this here. Whenever I sew it. This back stitch. Luckily, I was able to. I, I guess I had done it with my regular foot in, foot in the beginning, and I just kind of switched over to my walking foot when I got it. Because it did make it a little bit easier. But it's okay. And like I said, somehow I'm getting more accurate stitches, but. Just the regular foot. I don't know what, why. Maybe I'm doing something wrong with the walking foot. Perhaps it's possible that it's, you know, it's just me. I just hear this really low buzzing sound. It sounds like it's coming from this thing. This is the thing that puts the needle up and down. You recorded, I did a record today selling 20. Six by six paper pads and one hour de stash mode. Wow, I don't think I have 20 paper pads. I have one paper pads. Must have been a good deal. Must have been a good deal. Somehow, like I said, I'm, I'm doing even better with this foot. I don't even know how. I thought I remember like doing this and then going to the walking foot and being like, oh, that was so much easier. You know, this isn't even hard. <laughs> to be honest, this is not that hard. What is on here? It's on fabric. I don't know what it is. It's fine. Okay, put this little part over. Make that little point right here. Two dollars each. That's a great deal. Was that wood chuck sticker always there? No. <laughs> okay, so this guy, his name is Bucky's. <laughs> his name is Bucky. And he's the mascot for this gas station that's in the south. <laughs> And I have his, I bought, a bat, I bought a batch of his stickers. And I didn't like the little mandala or whatever was there. I didn't like it. So I'm like, you know what? Oh, I have these stickers. And I love this little fella. I was like, so let me do it. Sorry if it's too distracting. <laughs> if I get too many complaints, I'll remove it. But he makes me happy. So yeah, he makes me a lot happier than that mandala. I don't know. I don't know why I didn't like it. It gave me, I don't know, somehow it gave me bad vibes, and I don't know why. I never liked it. And I like, I like putting stickers on my sewing machine. I don't know about you guys, but I put stickers on my sewing machine. Like, on the back of my sewing machine, there's stickers. And I might add more stickers to the front, so... <laughs> so get ready for for changes. Changes are coming. <laughs> oh shoot! I was supposed to change the needle. Well, they said three bobbins. Technically, this is bobbin number three. I don't know. That's what I saw. I heard somebody say on some video that you should change your needle out every three bobbins. That's what they said. Yeah, this is not bad at all. Now we're going to jump over here. So this per, I was going to say person, but that doesn't make any sense. To so this part over here, that makes a little bit more sense. 
Yeah, I really can't explain it to you, but I love this little guy. I have a mug. I have a, I had two mugs with him on it. I have somebody sent me a koozie, and somebody sent me another mug. That's how I have two mugs. I have I bought some buttons of him. I have shirts of him. I bought keychain. <laughs> A fridge magnet. It makes no sense, but I don't know why. I just love that little fella. I really do. Let's <laughs> keep it moving here. I definitely, if I was going to keep doing it with this foot, though, I need, like, rubber gloves. I've seen people use, you know, I don't know if you've seen those those gardening gloves from the dollar store with the rubber underneath. That's what people use, those rubber gloves. Rubber coated, I should say. Rubber coated gloves. Because they help you move the fabric around. That's what they say. That's what they say. This part down here. I'm trying to go slower. I think I've been going too fast, probably. Probably. I'm glad I was able to finish my friend's pillows before she left. She should be at the airport right now. Flying home, and my friend. Okay, so let's go up here. I got to hang out with her today. It was cool. I gave her her pillows today. Okay. Of course, I started cutting on more fabric for <laughs> for me making more of these pillows. I was thinking, I was telling my husband, I'm like, if I make these pillows, I could possibly. If they don't sell online, I said this is maybe something that I could sell like at a craft show or something. I said maybe I could do a craft show and I could sell them. So we'll see. I need to save money. So it's either this or get a job. So I might as well do this. <laughs> I might as well do this. I'm still pondering over the price. I don't know what would be appropriate. What would be too much? Because I would be pleased with selling them for about 160 But I think that would have to be each pillow, I think. But then, I mean, it just sounds like so much for a pillow. <laughs> but it's a beautiful pillow, and it's a large pillow. Very large pillow. So I don't know. Because otherwise it wouldn't be worth it to do it. You know, if it's cheaper, it's really not worth it to do it. This takes me like four days. But also, I need to make the process a little bit easier for myself. Like, I need to, um, I have a lot of, I've been cutting out squares. Um, and then my friend is going to help me. My friend Santos, he's going to help me cut them down to four by four. I need to iron them. He's going to help me with that because he has like a press or something. Yeah, he has like a like a t-shirt press that he's going to help me like um, iron a bunch of them down at the same time. Because fabrics need to be ironed before they cut, before they be cut. So it's a lot. It's a lot. Okay, so let's do... Uh, okay, did I miss that one? Let's do this one over here. Who cares which one I do first? It doesn't really matter. They're all going to get done. They are all going to get done. Let's fold this over here. Here we go. Thank <laughs> you. 
There's been a couple times like right there where my finger's actually way too close to the needle, even for my own comfort. It happens. <laughs> it happens sometimes. I'm like, oh, I shouldn't have done that. I should not have done that. So far, we're okay. <laughs> so far, we're okay. Over. over here. I have caught my finger once, but while changing it out, never again. <laughs> yeah, whenever I have to actually, like, do something here or under my sewing machine, I'll disconnect the pedal, the foot pedal. That way I can't, I can't, you know, do anything. <laughs> I can't hurt myself. I snagged it like it came down on me. I there's been a couple times where my finger ends up under here, and I've always, like, caught it, but I'm like, Daisy, you are literally, this is going to crush your finger one day, like, and you're going to have nobody to blame but yourself. <laughs> that has happened to me a number of times. I'll admit that. I will admit it. I'm like, this could literally break your finger if it drove it down, you know, like, shh. This is not a joke. This is not a toy, Daisy. Like, it's really not. This is a whole tool. <laughs> All right, let's turn this around. Turn it around. This helps. Okay. Put this over here. Put this around. So happy that the glue worked because the pins would. I was getting, I was getting mad. <laughs> I was getting mad at the pins. I was getting mad at myself. It's impossible to have all these pins on all these fabrics and not prick yourself. It's impossible. So they were literally getting on my last nerve. And I only use it on the first pillow. The second pillow, I was like, I'm doing the glue. I'm doing the glue. And I have not looked back. I have not looked back. Hang on, my hubby texted me. Okay, nothing. Okay. And way back stitch. And I need to move. Cut the thread underneath. I need to move over here. Um, let me do this one first. And we'll move on to the other one afterwards. Here we go. Here I got 
in a grid mode something that I can pivot or grab onto here. No, that didn't work. Ah. I'm just going to turn it with my body. looking so pretty with the little windows. They look so cute. I love it. You guys, honestly, honestly, I'm kind of obsessed. <laughs> I'm kind of obsessed. I love this pattern. I love this project. It makes me so happy because everything is so beautiful. I just love it coming together. I love it. I love it when it comes together, you know? It's good. It's a good thing. I do need to get back to my actual job. <laughs> but I also wanted to finish these pillows that I started. One, two, one, two. gonna mail this off to my other friend or should I wait till I actually see her I don't know we'll see or I'll sell these I don't know if anybody wants them well, let me know <laughs> let me know otherwise oop, oop, I didn't put the I didn't put the foot down and my sewing machine was telling me there was an error 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 This around here. Last part, here we go. Last part. Backstitch a little bit on every corner. Okay. So now we're going to turn around. We're going to do this one over here. Just a lot of pivoting. A lot of pivoting with this product. But then it saves me thread because normally, honestly, the first time I made these pillows, I think I would do each one and then come out. Cut the thread, go to the next one. I did that for a while. But now I'm comfortable enough to pick a middle point and then I can go around a couple of places. Gotten better at it. So now it does make me so nervous. Because <laughs> that part used to make me nervous. Hang on, get some, some apple juice. So if I get it right, um, this should be the last part of this the video series <laughs> of this product. This should be the last video. If I do it, if everything goes right tonight. <laughs> I just have to finish this pillow and then I have to put the backing on it to make it an actual pillow. So right now it's just a square. Okay, I'll 
this. Oh my gosh. If I had a bigger sewing machine. But I've seen people with the biggest sewing machines and they still have to roll their fabric and put it. Ugh, did this fall? This should not have fell. <laughs> they never fall. This is the first time this has fallen. That's weird. Hang on. I gotta glue it back. I gotta glue it back. Hang on. I can't believe it fell. Really, I'm shook. I am surprised. Okay, so I'm saying I've seen people with the biggest sewing machines still struggle, so I guess it's just a thing that happens. They can't make a sewing machine long enough. <laughs> I've heard people said that they do like big king size blankets on the regular machine. That sounds insane. Legit sounds like a nightmare. Like my worst nightmare. I guess it's okay. Okay, 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 okay. Here we go. Yeah, I hear a small buzzing sound. It's so annoying. It's very annoying. And it's funny because it kind of happens to me every year around Thanksgiving that I have to get my machine serviced. I don't know how I do that. Always happens to me. I just started here. I just started hearing that sound. I think yesterday or the day before or something like that. Oh, I'm way off here. Hang on. Oop, no, I hit the camera with my forehead. I am kind of off on that one, but not too much. It's not bad at all. These stitches look really good. This right here looks a little suspicious, but that's okay. I'm getting better with the. It's where I stitch, getting much better. Takes a lot of practice, and you know that walking foot takes all, even more practice, obviously. Because it kind of makes everything go by a little faster. And it, since it kind of moves the fabric for you, I think that's where my mess ups kind of happen when it pulls the fabric too fast, I think. But I still kind of secretly love my walking foot. <laughs> I love my walking foot. Okay. We are done over here. So I want to say if I oil my walking foot, which I didn't even know was a thing, but it's a thing and I have oil, so maybe it'll, it'll work. Okay, so there we go. This is done. Let's go to the next spot. So you got these five done over here, which is what I could do. I started like right here, and then I could go around. Now we're going to be over here. I'll start right here in the middle. So that way I can get these three. And then we'll move on to these three, and then we'll move on to those two. So it's going. It looks really cute. It looks really pretty. I I'm telling you, there's something about this pattern that I'm just obsessed with right now. So, so I, this is my channel is not a sewing channel. So sorry if I'm boring my junk journal people. <laughs> sorry about it, but I'm just like really obsessed with this right now. It's really all I want to do. And since this is my show and not yours, I'm just kidding. Uh, I'll be back with junk journaling stuff. <laughs> I've just been, this is all I want to do, literally. I need to get back to work, but this is what I want to do for now. 
So I'm just like, let me get this done because I'm just obsessed. I'm, it's not healthy, but I'm obsessed right now. And I wanted to get my friend's Christmas present done. And I got it to buy it by, by Thanksgiving, so it's great. <laughs> so that works both ways. I just don't know how that pillow ended up to be 19 by 19. It's supposed to be 20 by 20. I don't know what happened. I really, truly don't know what happened. How did it shrink an inch over time? I don't know. But at least it shrunk the same amount on both pillows, I guess. <laughs> like, I guess that's a good thing, I suppose. Snit. It's under my foot. Okay, we're good now. And then we put the foot down. You know, my sock is falling. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right. Let's do this other side here. And I think I might start off instead of, you know, working. I, would, I do eventually want to make a quilt. That would be exciting. But I think for practice, I think I'll make pillows. Quilted, you know, like patchwork quilted style pillows. It might even be uh, quilted because I probably will and start using um, batting for them. Because I know a lot of these pillows, they use batting. There's even some of uh, this pattern here that used um batting but i don't i haven't wanted to deal with it till now so i'll probably start by making pillows because you know they're a more manageable size for my sewing machine miss rhonda i gotta make you some of these pillows too miss rhonda <sighs> miss rhonda i gotta make you a batch of pillows miss rhonda they're gonna come your way I mean I guess I don't know if you like it yet maybe you don't even like it have you seen the pillow <laughs> have you well it's not technically a pillow pillow have you seen it I think you'll love it because it's shabby chic it's right up your aisle Miss Rhonda I'm so happy to see you I'm so happy to see you Look at you go. Wow, that's very impressive. Thank you. It's been a lot of fun learning. It's been a lot of fun learning. And I can't wait to... I like giving them out so far. I've been giving them all away. But I'm going to have to send you or go over there and give it to you. Better yet. It looks very complex. Um, I mean, it kind of is. It, it was, you know, it took me a while to do it. I'm sure maybe some experts can do it in a day. But, yeah, it was a little, it was a little complex, a little bit, you know. A lot of steps, you know. Uh, hang on, I need to go over. We'll do this one then. It has been, it has been fun, though. Here. Thank you, Miss Rhonda. If you love it, then I'm already happy. <laughs> if you like it, then it's good. I'm just over here having some fun, sewing up a storm, you know? I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. You know I wouldn't be doing it if I didn't like it. You know. Okay, okay, Miss Rhonda, I'll get you. I'll get you your own, your own pillow. 
your own pillows. I make them in this style where they have all these fabrics, these different colored fabrics. I can also do them with all white and then just the fabrics on these windows here instead of right here too. I'll show you and I'll let you pick, pick which ones you want. How's your hubby? How's your dog? How's our hometown? <laughs> How's my hometown? <laughs> You still have to go over there. Oh my goodness. I keep saying it and I don't do it. <laughs> but I do. I have to come out there. Oh my gosh. This right here. We'll back it up. Let's turn it. Turn it. This part over. Wow, we are all fine. I got a cold right now. Oh no. <clears throat> oh no. Colds are not fun. I hope you feel better soon, dear. Okay, I'm looking at my thread. Ooh, that cone is getting really small. That cone is getting real small. As it should, I've been doing so much sewing, it's not even funny how much how much sewing I've been doing. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's do this over here. And this needs to be cut. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. This one down. That'll finish. I'll finish this one. It's obvious that you are quite experienced. <laughs> I mean, this is. <clears throat> I mean, this is pretty complex. Um, but it's also pretty beginner friendly. It's, so I can't say this is the most advanced thing. It is the most advanced thing I've ever made. But I'm practicing, I'm getting better. Some things, you know, some things look like fun, so I gotta try them. And so this is this is one of them now. This is one of the projects. I'm making curtains <laughs> out of this pattern. And so I have had quite a bit of practice with it. Um, but also it was not the hardest, I'm telling you, it's not the hardest thing to do. Um I'm sure we could all get it done, I'm sure. If I could do it, we definitely could. <laughs> and it's also very forgiving if you make a mistake. It's not the end of the world, which I love. I love it. Which is why I'm saying I'm making curtains out of it. These are pillows, but I am work also working on curtains. I can't even imagine trying that. You could, Miss Rhonda. It's just a bunch of 4 by 4 squares. Honestly. It's just a bunch of four by four squares. If I showed you how to do it, or if you follow the video, I'm sure we could do it. Believe in yourself, Miss Rhonda. I have been practicing sewing with fabric for a number of years now. Um, and like I said, when I saw this tutorial, this video for this pillow, I was like, I think I could do that. I, like, I think I could freaking do that. <laughs> and voila, here we are. Here we are today. I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm doing it. Okay, sure, Rhonda. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up, Rhonda. <laughs> Shut up. I said you could do it, okay? So you could do it. <laughs> I've just had a lot of practice now. I've had a lot of practice with this pattern here now. So it's, now it's not so hard, and now it's not so new to me. Okay, 
Okay, so let's try this again. I also made a sewing machine cover, Rhonda. I made a sewing machine cover for my sewing machine. And look, I learned how to do bias tape. I put this pink border around it. <laughs> I've been practicing little things here and there, and they've been uh, compiling. The lessons have been compiling. But I do mess up quite a lot. <laughs> I definitely mess up a lot. But that's okay. That's how we learn, right? That's how we learn. Yes, Miss Rhonda. I made my own sewing machine cover. <laughs> I'll make you one if you want me to. I had a lot of fun doing it, actually. I did. I had a it was it was just um it was challenging from covered in dust, or not dust, um fluff from the fabric. Um it, I did mess up one time, but the project I messed up was somehow still uh, functional for somebody else's sewing machine. <laughs> oh, did you see I have a new sewing machine, Miss Rhonda? I don't know if you even noticed. This is a brand new, well, not, it was new to me. <laughs> it was new to me sewing machine here. I don't think she has a name yet. I haven't named her. But this is a new sewing machine. This is what's called a baby lock. Pop this out here. I'll show you. The, uh, this is a baby lock, jubilant baby lock, which um, is actually the parent company of Brothers. So this is technically a step up from the sewing machine that I had. Um, it sounds like that because actually I need to be maintenance. <laughs> <laughs> it needs to be maintenance. That's why it sounds like that. I'm going to get it maintenance after this project. But um, this is a baby lock, and um, it's basically the same as my brother's sewing machine. Um, so, like, all of this is the same practically. The stitches are practically the same. There's a couple missing here. Um, I have to turn this dial for the numbers instead of putting the numbers of the stitch, which I don't like the best, but that's what it is. Um, the stitch length, stitch width over here, it automatically puts the needle down and then puts the needle up. Um, it could sew by itself. So if I disconnect the, if I disconnect the foot, I can just hit the start button here and it'll start sewing. So that's exciting. Also, I can set the speed. <clears throat> and I've also seen some brother sewing machines that have all these same functions, but it's a brother sewing machine. And I always got told, they basically got to the point in my sewing machine where they told me, you know, your sewing machine is not the best. So if you, can, you can't keep getting, you can't just keep getting it serviced, eventually you're not going to be able to, you're not going to be able to get it serviced anymore. You know, that's basically what they told me. Um, and so I decided to upgrade and I bought this baby off someone on Facebook. So I did a little bit of an upgrade, but still got a good deal because I bought it second hand. But, um, I love it. I have a little, oops, I hit my head. I also have a, like, like two inches more over here on space. I have like two inches here. Is it actually a baby lock machine though? Like with a cutter? What do you mean with a cutter? What do you mean with a cutter? You wore the darn thing down. Oh, I really did. I actually really did. <laughs> the last time after I got it serviced, um, they said, uh, you know, it's just not the best sewing machine. It has some plastic parts. That's what they kept saying. That it has plastic parts. And an upgrade would be a sewing machine with metal parts, metal insides, you know. And so I found this one on Facebook and it was a good deal. And so I've had this for a couple of months now. A couple of months, and I have stepped up my little sewing machine game. I've been trying different projects. I've been being braver with, <laughs> with projects I tried. Like I said, the sewing machine cover, that was, that was hard. <laughs> that was really hard somehow. But I didn't, you know, I've never made anything functional. Let's just say that. 
don't know that one can be like it. Let's see. But um, there's also, like I said, before I hadn't seen it, maybe because I kept going to Walmart for sewing machines, but these functions of the needle up and down and the automatic sewing, that's amazing to me. I didn't know that, you know, they had that kind of thing, but I guess they do. So I'm really happy with this sewing machine, but it's making like a humming sound and I need to go get it serviced. I normally get my machine serviced every two years and the fella that I bought the machine from, he said that he had had it for over a year. So it's, it's about time to get serviced. A search lock is where it stitches your edges and cuts off the excess fabric. I know some sewing machines can do that with a special foot. But a lock machine, the big ones have multiple things. No, no, this is just a sewing machine. It's not a serger. Just a regular sewing machine. Like I said, maybe it sounds funny because it needs to be serviced. <laughs> That's for sure. That is for sure. Yes, it works good. I found it at the store for $25 and it's practically new. That's a good deal, Miss Pam. Dang. I did not know that. That sounds like a great deal to me. Shit, I've been pushing it, you know, with the projects that I try, I've been pushing it, pushing it. I make mistakes, I mess up. <laughs> but I always learn something new, and eventually I'll get it, you know, eventually we will figure it out and I'll, you know. I'll be good at it. I'll be good at it eventually. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, Crafty Irene. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You said that. She had sent you some. I forgot you had mentioned that. So generous. I got to hit her up. I got to. Oh, I should make her some pillows. I should make her some pillows. You guys, I can't stop making these pillows. Can't stop, won't stop. Sorry about it. My life is now all about these pillows <laughs> gonna, gonna change my channel purpose to pillow pillow watch 24 24 7 <laughs> oh my god that would be the happiest male of course of course of course of course I'm just loving um, the scrappiness of these pillows. I love this pattern. Like I said, it's not too hard. It's not too easy. It was just right for my level. And I'm learning new things every day. <laughs> and it's just a fun time. It's just a fun time. I made my mom some pillows and she loved them. She just loved them. So I'm like, let me make more and more and more. And I have not stopped. <laughs> Since I made this pattern, I have not stopped. Did I? Okay, yeah. Okay, good. On the other pillow, I had the darker green fabric here, but then I changed it to this one because this makes more contrast with this green fabric over here. Thank you, Miss Rhonda. I'll be making you some for sure. Just got to cut up on my fabric. But these are so much fun. They're so shabby, you know. And it's, I use all recycled material, repurposed material. And it's been working out real good. Yes, Miss Rhonda, I'll send it to you. Send it your way. <clears throat> Let 
like I said, do you want it like this with all these different fabrics or do you want less fabrics, less busy, more white? What do you want? You get two options. <laughs> There's two options. They come in a real, real colorful or colorful. Which one do you want? <laughs> I ran with, oh yeah, she did say she was moving to Texas. She said that a while ago. I remember her mentioning that. Okay. Pam, yes, they would. They would love it. They would love it, Pam. You like the different fabrics? Okay. I can do you one with all these fabrics. All these little fabrics. Okay, I got you. I got you. I got you. Over. I'm looking at the clock. Okay. I think I'll get at least one of them done. <laughs> Let's see. I'm going to get them. I'm definitely going to get these done tonight. Definitely. That's going to be the goal. Before I get back to my regular work tomorrow. <laughs> because the pillows are, are they're done. They're done. There's no more pillows to do. <laughs> but for sure, I'm going to work a lot on cutting fabric down so that I can make more. And so that they go by a lot faster. So I got to cut up my fabric first. I'm going through all my scrap bins and then I'll go through my actual fabric stash. But first I'm going through my scrap bins and we'll see how much we get out of that. And then we'll go through my fabric stash. I definitely think these would make, if they're Christmas themed, they would be beautiful. So I definitely want to make some Christmas themed ones for sure. Of course, Miss... Uh, Miss Rhonda, I guess I'd have to go back and watch them because I know I have missed a step that you have done. What size squares did you cut? Four by four. Four by four. There must have been some gnarly pinning you had to do for that. I have just been using my clips and um, for, I uh, did start pinning like these fabrics here. I did start pinning them. But then I just used glue stick, <laughs> just using this little glue stick here in the middle. And you know what? It's holding on the fabric really well. And I'm not pricking myself. So there's a tip right there. There's a tip, I, tip right there. And actually, all the squares for this project are four by four, all of them, even these here in the middle. The pattern says to make them a little bit bigger. But you know what? Four by four is just fine. So it's all four by four squares, just a bunch of four by four squares put together in <laughs> different arrangements. Very clever. Yeah, well, you know, I picked it up on on some uh, video. I can't I can't come up with this stuff myself. <laughs> I am not that good. But I've been watching a lot of sewing videos, even if I don't. Even if I'm not going to make a project, I just put it on in the background and I pick up tips here and there, you know? I pick up little tips and uh, it's been fun. It's been really fun learning more about sewing and making more functional projects. Ah, that hurt. But um, it's just been fun. It's just been a lot of fun. If it wasn't fun, I wouldn't be doing it, but I am having, gosh darn it, if I'm not having fun, you know? <laughs> Turn this around. Okay. Do it on this side now. I love that I can control the speed though. Like if I want to set it on slow, like right now, I'll set it on slow. It's gonna go slow, but that's like too slow, so I go medium. 
A little bit too slow. Thank you, Miss Rhonda. Thank you. How are your 10 pound charms, girl? <laughs> your charms are everything. Literally, they're everything. <laughs> I freaking love your charms, girl. They're awesome. <laughs> I've been checking out your channel with those charms. They're everything. Moving it, we're moving it, we're moving it, we're moving it. Okay. Okay. I can't believe I've used up so much thread. Oh my goodness. This spool was full not too long ago. And now it's nearly empty. Oh my goodness. I have been sewing up a storm, I'll tell you that right now. A whole storm. It'd probably work out well if the squares were a bit bigger, though, right? Um, I mean, I'm just following the video. I can't tell you what's better or not. <laughs> but I, I'm following the video for this. I've done, there's other videos on other methods if you didn't like this method or this size. There's lots of other videos. I don't know the math yet to be able to say, oh, it should be this size to, for this. You know, I don't know the math yet myself but um if you did a four by four pillow if you wanted to do a four by four pillow it would be this big you see that that would be your little pillow which is actually not bad for a pillow size i could probably make them this size i could probably make smaller ones too a very good idea but um this size is pretty good it's nothing's too small in here to be honest four by four is not a bad size I think five by five, the pillow would be huge. I mean, 20 by 20 is already a big pillow, you know? <laughs> it's already a pretty big pillow. So I can't imagine bigger. So maybe you want a huge pillow. I don't know. I think if we made a pillow, like regular standard pillowcases of this size, that would be amazing. I don't know how I'd do it, but it would sound, it would sound great. I was thinking quilt. Um, I think this is a pretty good size for the quilts, to be honest. This is a pretty good size for it. But for making a quilt, I really wouldn't suggest you follow this method. Unless you're going to add a backing to it, which would make more sense. But they say, I've heard, I'm not an expert, I'm just saying what I've heard. I've heard people say that normally for this pattern... For a quilt, if you do it the right way, it doesn't look like this. It looks more like my curtains, where the back is just white. And technically, technically, they say you don't need to quilt it. Technically, they say it's good enough as a blanket, just with the with the other technique. But if you wanted to, you could. But I just heard that you don't need to, because this part right here I'm doing right here actually quilts the back of it. And that's what I keep hearing. That's what people keep saying. If you're going to make a quilt out of this, normally you just do it. You just put it together and it's already quilted on the back and it's already technically like two layers of fabric. That's what I heard. That's just what I heard. I'm no expert. Okay. I'm on the second to the last square on the front, and I have to do all the side triangles. The other, the the um, the quilt that uh, the the quilt technique I'm following for my curtains starts technically the video. She starts with a sixteen by sixteen square. But I don't. I didn't want to buy a sixteen by sixteen ruler. 
I had a 12 by 12 and that's the size I decided to go with because that's the size I had. But technically, technically she does start off with a 16 by 16 square. How do the pieces, how do you piece the pieces in between the squares? I'll show you right now. Hang on, let me just do this. show you one moment. So, <laughs> so this the pillow cover is, here we have here. Let me just finish this and I can talk. <laughs> I can't talk and do this at the same time. So give me one moment. Let me just finish this here. Hang on, hang on. Yes. Okay, so to start with this uh, pattern. This pattern starts off with three um, squares, three four by four squares. So there's the, the, the main square, which is this square right here. It's a four, but they're all four by four. So there's a four by four square and then which is colored. And then I have white fabric, which is also cut down to four by four squares but then fold it in half like a triangle. And then those two triangles here, can those right here. There's a fabric right here, fabric a square. And then I have, which I don't have actually. Oh yeah, here we go. So there's this, <laughs> there's this fabric, right? Square, four by four. Then I have a four by four in white. Pretend this is white, I have four by four in white. I fold this in half, I cut it. Oh, no, no, sorry, it's just folded in half. <laughs> I fold it in half, then I lay it across like here. So I lay it across like this, and then I get this other triangle and I lay that across like this. I sew that together, and then that gives me these little flaps that come out like this, which is what you see right here. This is a this is a four by four folded in half. This is a four by four folded in half, sewn on top of a four by four square. So that's how you get that. That's one four by four square. That's this square right here. Then I fold two four by four squares in half, and you get these rectangles which you sew on top of that square. And then, like I said, then you have these little flaps that open. So that's in a nutshell, <laughs> what I did <laughs> to get this. So then I have uh, the squares here connected in a row and they form these little flaps that open like that. In a nutshell, that's what I did. <laughs> in a very short nutshell, that doesn't take me a week <laughs> to show you. Okay, let's do this last one, and then I got to do it all the way around the corner, all the way around the edges. I got to do those fabrics. Oh, and I got to I gotta cut them in half because I didn't. Very interesting. I thought so too, Miss Pam. I thought so too. Like I said, you'll get, this is like the third, no, this is technically one, two, three, four, the fifth pillow I'm making. No, six, because I already did number five. So this is number six, and I can say, now I know what I'm doing. <laughs> the first two, three pillows, I didn't really know what I was doing, but now I know what I'm doing. So it don't just take you that long. <laughs> You, you might get it quicker, but it took me quite a while to, like, and now I know what I'm doing. I, I don't even have to look at the pattern right now, right now. <laughs> but the first couple times I was like, what, what, what? Monique, have a good night, girl. 
Makes me want a martini and an aspirin. <laughs> You're silly. <laughs> I definitely wouldn't drink a martini while doing this because it's a, it's a lot of little parts. <laughs> you want to get your stitching as nice even and even as possible. So maybe try this the next day. Maybe just the aspirin. <laughs> Maybe you definitely want to be in your best judgment <laughs> when you're making this pillow. That is something I suggest that you do. <laughs> Don't drink and sew, definitely. Don't drink and quilt. I'll say that right now. Don't drink and, and quilt. Don't do it. It's back here. I definitely need an extension table. Definitely need an extension table. I might, I might order myself one. I'm definitely gonna order my one. Hang on. I wanted to sneeze, but it didn't come out. <laughs> it did not come out. Okay, so let's do this edge over here. We're almost done with the main windows. And then we'll move around the edge windows. And I myself, I have actually somehow, <laughs> somehow, some way, junk journaling has prepared me for this. I'll tell you that right now because, I mean, I never really sewed seriously. It was just, you know, stuff for my junk journals. But lo and behold, I've been learning things. Like, even when I'm sewing just my tags, like, I'm keeping an eye on my seams. I'm trying to learn how to, you know, stop where to stop and where to start. So, even just like sewing on my tags, on my paper tags has really taught me a lot about sewing that I would eventually use to make real sewing products. <laughs> not that junk journaling is not a, a real project, but you know, a functional, more functional project. Let's do this side over here. But I'm still in the learning stages for sure. But, you know, I'm dipping my toes into more complex um, projects a little bit. Just a little bit. Nothing too much. But that's how you get started, you know? That's how we start. Little easy projects and we'll move on to two more things. I even saw this one video of um, somebody making, like, a tote bag, like a tote. And I was like watching it and I'm like oh my god I'm like could I make that and then I'm watching it and I'm like oh my god I'm like I think I can make that here's the inside of the pillow you can see all the all the windows that I just put together here now we have to do the windows on the outside um right th I'm looking at my other pillow so I can get it the same Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. I have to cut. <laughs> oh, yeah. I just remember. Hang on. I have to cut these down to four by four. Let me move this out the way. And then I bought a bunch of tools a while ago. And you know what? They've kind of been coming in handy. I, I needed a four by four ruler. And I was like, oh, shoot. I already have one. <laughs> like, wow. So I've been, you know, picking up tools here and there, and eventually I'll get to use them. I buy them when I can afford them. Maybe later I can't afford them. Oh, my gosh. Okay, hang on. Hang on. I'm so spoiled, you guys. I really am so spoiled. I'm over here cutting this little square, and I'm like, it's why I can't turn it. So, you know, I got me this little... <laughs> This little cutting turntable that spins a while ago. And look at me. Look at me. I'm using it. <laughs> look at me. I'm still not good at cutting fabric, though, to be honest. I'm still... I still have to practice that. I've never had to cut 
squares that had to be a certain size, like ever. <laughs> so here I need to cut this to four by four. This has de this little um, turntable here, cutting board turntable, has really been a game changer though for cutting out these four by four squares. Probably the only reason why I could do it. You could also, if you have a um, big shot, if you have a big shot, they sell dies specifically for quilting. So I know they have squares. I've used my spell binders to cut um, to cut hexagons before that I sewed together. So you just gotta, you know, use what you got. And sometimes there's shortcuts like this turntable or those or those die cuts. And I'll use it. I will use every little shortcut I can. Every little thing that'll make it easier for me, I'll buy it. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a sucker like that. Oh yeah, these are supposed to be three by three because the corner ones are just like a little bit like a funky size. Oh yeah. Whoops, these are supposed to be three by three. So hang on, I luckily I have a lot of spares of this fabric. I mean, I'm making all the corner pieces the same fabric. Maybe I'll make some hexagon pillows. Hexagons are a lot of work. Oh my God, hexagons are a lot of work. But they're also really fun. This is supposed to be three by three. should always have extra fabric squares in case you mess up on one. Okay, this needs to be three by three then. One, two, three. By three. That's right, I it was three by three because the corner ones are tiny. They're so tiny. I forgot. See? Okay. Okay, so here's my little tiny triangles that are going to go here in the corners. Just going to add a little bit of glue here. I do kind of press it down with my nail and make sure it stays. I have made a hexagon quilt before. Oh, a whole quilt. If I make pillows of the hexagons, at least I can use the bigger size hexagon. <laughs> I'll just have to watch a video because I'm still not good at math. I've never been good at math. And so for me to be like, oh, what size hexagon should I use for this? I have no idea. I'd rather watch somebody tell me what size I need because I don't know how to figure that out yet. I do not know. Don't ask me. Okay. 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 So next, um, let me figure out where we at. Where are we? Again, I'm looking at my example pillow and that's what I'm following. Okay, so over here, we have this fabric. Again, this is a 4 by 4 square. And I need to cut it in half. Okay, and then this will go right here. little triangle over here. Again, I just press it down with my fingers. Oh no, shoot, that goes over here. Oh shoot. Luckily it's just a little school glue so it'll come out. <laughs> Mistakes have been made. Okay, it's okay. Too further over, too far. Just right in the middle. Okay, and then this fabric is, okay, see what you're doing, grab it, grab it, 
is it? I know I have it. I just, I seen it. I seen it. I saw it. I know it. This here just sits this way. Okay. Middle here. Uh, I was for my niece when she was little, so it wasn't very big. Very cool though. I've done um, hexagon junk journal covers. You know, it's just basically a hexagon quilt. Well, top, but I have never made an actual quilt. It's a quilt. It's a top. It's not a quilt. Oh my gosh. I get it. I get it. I get it. <laughs> Some people and their definitions. Okay, so this fabric right here is. It is, where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? It's not this, it's not this. I know I have a square of it because if I don't, I'm going to be so mad. What? Yeah, I see which one it is. Tell me I do. I know I have it. I could have swore. Did I put it here? No, it wasn't supposed to be. No, it was supposed to go there. Yeah, it was supposed to go there. Okay, hang on. Hang on, I'm not panicking, but I am panicking. Because <laughs> I could have swear I had one of everything that I needed. Oh, my goodness, of course. Of course! Well, we'll just have to skip that one, I guess, and come back to it later, which I could technically do. <laughs> I'll do that. I'm going to skip it. And we'll, put it back. we'll put it in later. <laughs> Put it in at another time. I can't believe I don't have it though. I'm I'm really in shock right now because I should have one of all of them. But okay, I guess I don't. I guess I don't. I want my sister to find it again so I can take a picture. Ooh. Hexagon quilts are quite impressive. And when <laughs> when I uh when I did it. When I did the covers in hexagons, it was crazy. It was a lot. It was a lot of work. It was too much work. Actually, this doesn't go here. This goes over here. That's the one I'm skipping. What's the one I'm skipping? I don't know where she's at. I don't know what she's doing, but she's not here. I'm kind of upset that it's not there. I'm kind of really upset. That's okay. We'll figure it out. Um. Okay, so turning... Okay, so this one needs a yellow. Um, so this one's not yellow, but it's a yellow. It's the same fabric. I'm going to cut that in half. It's here? Yeah, it's right here. Okay. Okay, and then here it's that purple brush strokes fabric. It's this one. right here. Just triple checking that yeah, does. Triple checking over here. I have to make sure it's the right side of the fabric. I think that's the right side of the fabric. It's hard to tell sometimes. Because <laughs> it looks brighter on this back side, but... Yeah, I guess I'll go with it. I'll just go with it. It's fine. <laughs> okay, and then over here, with the black, this, this is this fabric. Cut from corner to corner. I don't even know 
how is it missing if I have half of it over there? Where's the other half? It literally doesn't make any sense, Daisy. Daisy. What sense does that make, Daisy? But I don't have it, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Wait, I haven't even glued that. I haven't even glued that down. Oh my Here. Okay, I'll give me one moment. I'll be right back. One moment. Okay, I'm back, my bad. Um, okay. Bye, Miss Beverly. Okay, so I need the green one over here. I cannot believe I'm missing one. I'm really surprised right now. <laughs> the math is just not adding up. It's just not adding up. Why is it missing? Okay, here's the last one I needed. Of course, I try to put these away and they just fall over. Okay, 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 okay. So this last one here. Okay, so that goes right there. Now, with the exception of this one, <laughs> I'm gonna do the edges all the way around. I think I'll probably start and stop with this one because it has nothing on it. So, that seems a little logical. I just dropped my phone. Okay. We can do that. That's, a, that's an option, I suppose. Just drop the phone. Okay. Hang on. Sorry, I have to clean up a little bit before I get started. Because I start getting nervous with all this stuff around me. Okay. So, let's start. We'll start here, and then we'll end over here before that triangle. 
Okay, so let's get started. We turn this here like that. Another sewing foot on there. I go on two, and then I do back stitch here. Probably don't have to back stitch at the beginning of every triangle here, but I do. Just have to watch myself because I instead of going this way, I'm going the other way. I just have to keep an eye out for myself. My sewing machine is a weird angle here. It's just funny when I started this, I really only sought out to make two pillows. Somehow I cut up enough material to make the four pillows. I don't even know how I did that. But I did, I did that. <laughs> Back up. Let's go around. Bring this part down. by much quicker. Get to the end and my back stitch. Roll this corner over. Should this have been closer to the edge? And then I can always take it off too, which is quite nice. With this project, I can just take it off and pull it Put it where I need it to be instead. Yeah, I think I need it to be more towards the edge. Okay. And we'll get started on the new one. Back stitch. Continue on here. I gotta follow the whole but the whole pillow kind of has to follow along so it doesn't twist improperly. Let's pull this down here and we'll just continue. Back it up, back it up. Turning it, we're turning it. Now this has to move, so I kind of have to bunch it up a little bit. But we're going, we're going. Let's get to this point, gotta roll this one over. around, pull this side down, that. back stitch, the edges definitely go by a lot faster. <laughs> I don't have to start and stop as much. I don't even have to move myself. I just keep going, which is why I mean the tutorial that I followed didn't say that, but after making so many pillows, I find it to be the easiest to concentrate on the middle uh, windows first, and then we'll do the outside all in one go. All in one go. That system has been working out for me quite well. Quite well. Flip it over. Okay. Back stitch 
back stitch. We're getting there. We're going around. And then I got to make me two Oh my gosh, that's next. <laughs> I wanted to show every step. Of course, every step takes forever. The last time I did these, I didn't even go live. <laughs> and somebody had said, you should go live. They said I should make a tutorial, but I'm not that good. So there's tutorials I follow. You could follow them. <laughs> Well, I'm like, I'll do like a craft with me, sew with me type of thing. I don't know if I could explain it better than the people who I follow. <laughs> I really, truly really don't. If I could, I would. But I don't think I could say anything more. So this part. Corner part's a little easier to do. It pivots pretty easily. Back stitch, back stitch. Let's do this part right here. Kind of wrinkled it. Why is it wrinkled? I don't know, but now it's kind of wrinkled. <laughs> okay. Okay. This one, back stitch, back stitch. Definitely have to get me some of those grip gloves. Definitely. That'll make it a little bit easier. Back stitch, back stitch. We're almost there. We're almost there. We're definitely halfway. <laughs> we are definitely halfway now. So that is wonderful. Could definitely go a little faster on the edges. A little bit less fear of messing up because this whole like half inch over here is going to get covered anyways. <laughs> you won't see it in the end. Okay, let's put this one down. Backstitch, backstitch. Definitely I've done a better job with these last two pillows than I have with any of the other pillows I've done in the past. So that's good. You know, that means we're improving. We're getting better. It feels good. It feels good to... Uh, Get better at stuff. Never stop learning, you know? It's always fun to learn something new. It's always exciting when you get a little bit better at it and a little bit better at it. Mm -hmm. I live for it. I live for it. Backstitch, backstitch. I wanted to redo. I wanted the corner ones to be a little bit closer to the edge here. I forgot that kind of works out a little bit better. Okay. Oop, I forgot to put the foot down. Backstitch, backstitch, backstitch. Hold it down, and then I do kind of hold it right here so that I can start pivoting, you know? Just 
was kind of the key to this is to kind of learn how to pivot it. Backstitch, backstitch, backstitch. We're getting there. We're almost done. Oh my god. I can't even believe it. <laughs> We are almost done. I have to hit up Irina. I have to make her some pillows too. So probably, okay, so the next two pillows are going to go to Rhonda and Irina for sure. Rhonda and Irina need some pillows. Okay, okay, let's pivot here. This looks great. This looks really, really good. Oh, here it's kind of messed up, but, but overall, it's pretty good. Good night, Miss Rhonda. Are you going to bed? Or are you saying good night to Rhonda? Uh, to Beverly. <laughs> This part so that we can um, work on the back finally. I didn't. Every time I come live to do this, I'm like, oh, I didn't think it would take that long. Like, <laughs> I'm like, oh, 30 minutes, this whole talk will be done. I'm not that fast, I guess. I'm not. I gotta remember that. <laughs> it's okay. No, not me. Okay, Ms. Rhonda. Okay. You stay right there, Ms. Rhonda. You stay right there. Time flies. It really does, Pam. Especially when you're sewing. <laughs> Especially when you're sewing. It takes forever. Miss Rhonda, there's a there's a big possibility I'll be moving to um, Mississippi within the next few years. I've decided. My parents moved out there, and I'm I need to be with my parents, so I'm gonna move out there eventually. That's the plan. That's the goal. I'm trying to save some money for the move, but that is decision I've come to. Unless I change my mind. It's possible. <laughs> I'm telling everybody and then I'll change my mind. It's possible. It's all up in the air, but I have decided to try and move out there. I don't really want to, but I want to be near my parents. To Mississippi. Near Harrisburg? Hattiesburg? No, I think it's Hattiesburg. <laughs> oh, I always want to say Harrisburg. It's not. It's Hattiesburg. <laughs> Okay, so everything is done except for this one down here. So we got it all done, all the way around, all the way around, except for this one. <laughs> it's all done. Look how beautiful all these different fabrics. I had to switch this one up from the other pillow. This one is a green, and it just was too green, and it clashed with this one, which was, it was fine. I'll live. My friend loved it anyways. 
But for this one, I was like, no, I got to change that. This has to be over here. Okay. 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 So anyways, let me get my other, my other pillow. And we're going to make them into an actual pillow, you guys. <laughs> right now, they're just uh, pillow tops. <laughs> they're not actual pillows. So let me get situated here so that I can work on the next step, which is the back, the fabric on the back. So I don't know why they had me make it 21 inches. And I think this is even longer. I don't think I've cut this to size yet. But um, actually, let me let me cut it to size right now. Actually, it's still a nice straight edge. It should be fine. But let me hang on. I gotta move stuff around. So give me one moment. Wait, you're moving to yeah. We're moving to Mississippi. Is the idea? Is the idea? I can still change my mind. But that is, that's the plan right now. In a couple of years, in a year or two, I will be moving to good old Mississippi. <laughs> I can't believe it myself, to be honest. But it's still, still just an idea, but I'm kind of, Kind of more on the yes fence, unless a tornado comes and ruins my family's new house. I will be moving out there. <laughs> it could happen if a tornado comes and ruins our house. I'm not moving. <laughs> There's two years. There's two years. I'm going to cut this to size here. So we'll see. But the plan is more than likely. We're moving to Mississippi. That's that's the plan right now. Okay, let's get this here. We cut it. We cut it. It's fine. Okay. So now that I've cut this down to size, I should cut the other one down to size. Probably. Hang on. Let me get my other fabric. It takes two pieces of fabric. They're 15 and a half inches tall. And I think they tell you to make the make it like 21 inches wide or something. But I don't know. I think my pillows have shrunk in the process. <laughs> some, some part of the process, they've shrunk. So I don't know. I don't even know what happened. I don't even know what to say about that, but <laughs> that's uh, Let's see. Trying to get this in place here. We're just at the edge of the pillow. Okay. Now cut this side. And we'll cut this other side. Yeah, so that's a like I said, it's up in the air. If I go, oh my god, I'm gonna end up going like probably every four months to go see my mom. And uh, my husband's still up in the air about it. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be a big change, but I think I think it's needed. Okay, so now that I have these to size, what I need is this thing. Put my little tool pack over here. And I need a little chalk. I guess you could use a pen or something. But the chalk, you know, it's supposed to come off. Um, the chalk is supposed to come off with when you wash it, I guess. Um, so we need to make a marking half inch. So like this. Half inch from the edge. Two times. Well, actually, I'm going to mark it three. Oop, daisy. I'm going to mark it three times, actually. You'll see. Half inch, half inch increments. <laughs> I went over my finger. Okay. There's one half inch. 
Here's another half inch. One more half inch. Just three half inch increments I need to mark. So there's that. There's my three half inches. I've been driving down to my dad's a few times a week. Now, since he lost his driver's license, he's in Santa Monica. So one and a half hours. Each way, $30 gas time. Oh, my God. Yeah, the gas out there is real cheap. $30. $3. The gas out there is 3 bucks. I was like, what? <laughs> so even if I'm half away, half hour away from her, it will still, still be a doable drive. That does sound like a long time. And I know it should be like a 20-minute ride, but you know all that traffic in Santa Monica. On the right day, at the right time, you catch it. You catch it. Oh, no, I guess Santa Monica's below even Malibu, so I guess it would be. Yeah, I guess you're right. That is a long drive. So there's that. Let me mark, let me mark this other one now. Three half inch lines. Oh uh, no, like seven dollar gallon, fifty miles away on the coast highway. Ugh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the way I figured eventually it's gonna come to a point where I'm out there for months, you know what I mean? Like if my parents need help with something. I'm going to be out there for a long time at a, you know, at a time. So I might as well just move over there. I already told my husband. Like I said, my husband would really much rather not move, which I understand. <laughs> totally understandable. All right. Let me get my, um, I need my ironing board. I need my iron to be hot. So one moment. Oh, oh yeah. The construction and never ends. Construct there's been construction on there since 1982. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so let me move this out the way. Let me get my ironing board. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to touch the camera, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> that, was, that was completely accidental. One moment, let me get my ironing board. Or my ironing mat, I should say, my little wool mat. I have my iron going right now. My, my iron set to medium because this is um, what's it called. This is what is it freaking called? This is polyester, <laughs> so we really can't use anything besides medium here. I run my dad around on errands and stuff. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so I have my markings. And I'm just going to fold it on the mark. My iron is heating up. I'll grab it in a second. I do want to get it started here. Do you want to get us started here? So I leave it on there for like 10 seconds and then I move on. Folding on the mark. Because otherwise I would not know what to do. There we go. Okay, and then we're going to fold it again on the second mark. But well, technically, this is the third mark, I suppose. Okay. Folding it, folding it. Hi, 
Hi, Tanya. How are you, dear? Welcome, welcome. Let me get this here. This is going really good. This is real nice. Real, real nice here. Real nice. Let's just get this iron to the edge. And we do the other one. And we have to sew a line down here. And then we do the other one. <laughs> and we sew it to the pillow. So those are the steps. So we did this one. Just put it right there. Grab the other one. Okay, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to fold it on the line. I'm glad you're well, Miss Tanya. Okay. This is going so good. I'm so happy. Right here at the very end, it didn't go very well, actually, right here at the end, but... But, you know, that's good. I don't know why this end over here, it's not ironing down. Same with the other one. I do not want to iron down. Okay, but let's do the next one. They asked to do two folds, half inch apart, or half inch every time. So that's what I'm doing. Petrol is $12 a gallon here. Hi, Jen. What's up, girly? $12 a gallon. Where do you live, woman? Is it in the UK? Because the UK people are paying. The UK people are paying top dollar. <laughs> they, But they have been. Their normal gas price is $6 a gallon. Okay, I truly, honestly, don't know what happened here at the end. I don't know where I went wrong. <laughs> the Eller, this end over here, it will not lay down, and I don't know quite why. That is, I don't know why that's happening. <laughs> but you know what? It's fine. We'll put this one on the inside where nobody will ever see it, <laughs> and it'll be it'll be just fine. All right, so now we have these and they're ironed two times down, half inch each time. So let's get to the next step. Okay, so the next step, oops, 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 oops. Hang on y'all, I'm dropping everything. Okay. So the next step here my new pup is keeping me busy and my son had surgery. Okay, I hope he feels better soon. Okay, I'm going to sew on the edge where the fold is not. So on this edge right here. I'm going to sew a quarter inch seam from the edge. So I'm using my quarter inch seam of stitch, which are my machine of stitch number 16. And we'll just get that sewn together here. Oh, I'm by my foot and stole <laughs> Of course. Of course. I have my sewing foot attached. Okay, now we're good. Let me back stitch a little bit.
extra pair in the back stitch. And then we're going to do the other one now. It's just the little stitch here to keep that fold there. Let's do this one now. Same thing. here, but it doesn't matter. It's never going to be seen again. <laughs> I just don't know. I don't know what happened. These edges off. And I did use um, my best press on these. So normally they'd be a lot floppier, but the best press, I guess it's starch, so it, it, makes, them, it makes the fabric nice and stiff. Are you using a regular foot? Yeah, I'm using the regular foot. My um, walking foot. Did I tell you what happened to my walking foot, Jen? Did you hear what had happened to my walking foot? Did you hear? <laughs> I need everybody to know. <laughs> Did you hear what had happened? Okay, so here's what happened. <laughs> here's what happened. I'm sewing, I'm sewing, I was specifically, I was on this yellow square on my other blanket, on my other pillow. And you know what had happened? Actually, I gave my friend the wrong pillow now that I'm looking at it. This is supposed to be, I have two of these purple ones and two blue backgrounds with purple flowers and I'm supposed to keep them together and I didn't. <laughs> Just notice this is the wrong pillow. Okay, anyways. Anyways, so I was sewing my little windows, and you know what happened, Miss Jen? What is that freaking? Oh, yeah, we're supposed to do right sides together, so this is the right side. <laughs> Hang on, let me, let me think before I talk. So here's what happened. Thank you, Miss Jen, thank you. So I was happily, okay, happily sewing my little pillow, okay? <laughs> so much joy in my heart okay I was, I was happy having a fun time good old time okay <laughs> and then all of a sudden i see little tiny black dots on my white fabric around this part right here around this trim and I said, what in the what is that black stuff on my white fabric? And so we're supposed to put right side sketch. This is the right side. So let's go here. Okay. And so, and so I saw little black dots on my fabric and I freaked out. I said, what in the what in the what in the what is happening right now? I was not happy. So I thought, is it my sewing machine? I stopped. I cleaned my sewing machine. I'm looking all over. Where is this? It was like dust. It was like black dust. I said, what in the world is this black dust? Why is it on my, um, oh my goodness. And why is it on my white fabric? So I'm freaking out. There's, I clean my whole sewing machine. There is nothing on my sewing machine. There's nothing. There's no black soot on my sewing machine. I'm just like, where is this coming from? And then I noticed, I looked at my walking foot. 
my walking foot, I noticed it was making a grinding sound. And then I look at it. I'm still, there's still oil on it. I look at it. The little handle here that goes up and down. Inside here is a little, inside of it is like a little metal disc. And I don't know, I still don't exactly know which metal disc, but it was grinding. The walking foot was grinding on this little metal disc inside. And it was dropping little black, like carbon. Black, literally black soot on my project. And so I start freaking out. I start, well, the first thing I did was Google it. Like, why is my sewing machine leaving black powder on my sewing project? And they said, just get your sewing machine serviced. And I said, oh, okay, that's fine. You know, that's fine. That's understandable. It needs to be serviced. Okay. But then I, um, like I said, I'm looking around my sewing machine. I'm like, wait a minute. There's nothing black around my sewing machine. I got my little brush. I started brushing it. I said, there's nothing black on my sewing machine. What is happening? And that's when I saw it. This little, I put my brush in here. My little lint brush, I put it in here and it came out black. And I said, what is, what in the what? And then, like I said, I, I, I heard a very, very loud grinding sound when I was using it. And I was very upset. I was very, very upset. So I called the company that I bought it from um, yesterday. And they were like, oh, you know, okay, we hear you. <laughs> They're like, but we actually are, our warranty for defective parts is only for 30 days. So I, I don't know. I, I said, I, I was very calm and I was like, well, that's a little upsetting. I'm like, I'm in the middle of making Christmas presents. And you're telling me that this part that is defective by no fault of my own because I can't even get in there to mess it up. I said, you're telling me that you can't help me. I said, that's, I said, that's a little unfair is what I said. I'm like, that's a little unfair. I tried to, <laughs> I don't ever try to yell at anybody because, you know, it's not their fault. They don't make the policies. People answer the phone. Most likely don't make the policies. They don't make the rules. You know, I get it. So he's like, well, I'm going to, he's like, I can talk to, he said, that's our policy. He said, but I can talk to my manager and see what she, see what they say. And I said, yeah, if you could please help me out. I said, that would, that would be, if you could please um, help me out. And he's like, okay, well, he's like, well, I'll call you back. And I was like fully expecting to just be told, sorry, you know, like, <laughs> Sorry, can't help you. I was so upset. Um, but then he calls me back and he's like, oh, no. He's like, my, my manager said that um, she's heard of this before uh, with other walking foots, feet, I guess. So he's like, I guess um, it's just something that happens with them. He's like, so I could, um, she said that we could either refund you or we can send you another one with the knowledge that it might happen again, is what he said. It might happen again, it might, it's just a problem that I guess that they have. So I said, no, I said, we could send you your money back or we can send you a new one. I said, please send me a new one. So I think what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to oil this baby. I'm gonna have to keep this, these gears oiled. I bought sewing machine oil thinking maybe I could have fixed it, but no. Um, but I could probably keep it oiled from now on so that it doesn't grind down, refund and get another brand. This is the brand that's for my sewing machine. That's why I'm so confused. This is the name brand for my sewing machine. So this is like the top quality one, supposedly. Supposedly, that's the idea. Oh yeah, I'm using a half inch seam here if I'm not mentioning it. Sorry, half inch seam. And so they're going to send me a new one and um, I'll just keep it oiled, keep an eye on it, keep it oiled. But somehow I was able to finish my whole project here. I was able to finish it with my regular walking foot. But you know what? Now they make others. I have one. You have another, like, but what brand though? This is supposed to be the best brand. I mean, it's for my sewing machine. Maybe after this other one, I'll try a new one. 
Let's see, because I did see generic ones, and I was like, maybe I should have bought a generic one. I hope it doesn't do it again, but if it does, I'll just keep it oiled. I'll just make sure I oil it, and um, that'll be the end of that. I'll just make sure to oil it every once in a while. Boo baloo, boo baloo, boo boo. Who's the little boy? Who's the little fellow? He just woke up. Every time he wakes up, he has to come over to me, and I have to acknowledge him. Come here. Get some touches. You want touches, or you don't want touches? Because it looks like you want touches. Huh? You don't want touches. Okay, fine. Have it your way. What's with the beaver? This is Mr. Bucky's. Mr. Bucky. From Bucky's. <laughs> and I put him there because I didn't like that mandala thing. I don't know why. It was giving me bad vibes, and I can't explain it, but I didn't like it. But I love this little fella. Like I said, if I get too many complaints, I'll take him off. But he's he's a sticker. <laughs> it's just a little sticker. <laughs> my dog, my new dog looks like a ferret. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> Bobo is over here. He's he's just staring at me. I don't know what he wants. He probably wants the door open. Or he wants me to throw his toys. Hang on, let me throw his toys. Maybe that's what he wants. Hang on. Sometimes that's what he's looking at me for. Okay, okay, Bobo Lou. If that's what you wanted, I threw them. That's what he wanted, because now he's going over there. <laughs> he's so funny. I am using a half inch um half inch seam allowance here so that's what the video said so that's what i'm doing this little buckies he makes me so happy i don't know what it is about him that i love so much but i freaking love him he's so cute and i saw the sticker and i said this is the perfect size this is the perfect size for this little thing right here. Is this new sewing machine named Bucky? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have a name for it yet. I don't know. But I don't think it's going to be Bucky. Because that's just silly. This is Bucky. <laughs> I have Winnie the Pooh and Piglet on my machine. Adds pizzazz to your your. <laughs> I do love adding stickers to my sewing machine. So if you see another sticker, don't be surprised. I actually have stickers on the back of it. And I've always had stickers on the back of my sewing machine. And uh, we'll add more stickers as we go. So just expect it to change from day to day. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so the situation will be changing day to day. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta go slow if I'm trying to keep seam allowances. I gotta go slow, slow, slow. This is the last step for these pillows. Tomorrow I'll do some sunflower stuff. <laughs> tomorrow, tomorrow I promise we'll get back to some junk journaling videos. <laughs> Because I'll be done with these pillows. So the obsession will be done until I get more squares. <laughs> get more squares cut out. I really had a lot of fun with this pillows, these pillows here. I don't know how my other pillows shrank, but my other pillows shrank by like an inch. I don't even know how. I don't even know how that happened, but it did. It happened. I need to get my sunflowers journals done. I say that after a week and a half of focusing just on these pillows. <laughs> I'm like, oh no, I have to get them done. Oh no, I just remember they have to get done. All right. We're getting there. But now I actually I want to cut, I want to make Christmas ones. It's just too late for this Christmas season, but for next Christmas season. 
I gotta start thinking about next Christmas already. <laughs> you know how you know how I am. My Christmas literally starts the day Christmas is over. I start on Christmas stuff again. So what I was thinking, like probably sell these out. Uh, Jen, I was telling my, my husband, I probably sell these at craft stores or craft uh, fairs. You know, probably me and my friend Santos. I'm going to tell my friend Santos, make some stuff so that way next fall maybe we can do some craft stores and sell it. You know, I don't know when we have stuff done to sell, but I'm like, I should probably think about it. And do some craft fairs. Otherwise, I have to get a job ah! <laughs> to save money. Now I have to get a job, so if I can make these pillows and make some money with these pillows, that would be great. I'm gonna try other designs too, and I'm gonna try making them smaller too. We'll see how how that goes. If I make them smaller, we'll see how that turns out. I know not everybody's going to want to pay for this huge pillow or want a huge pillow. Because <laughs> these are pretty big, pretty big. Just put it where it's supposed to be. All right. So we have officially made a pillow, y'all. Officially now it's a pillow. Now I can say it is. Okay, now what I need to do, I want to make one with black trim. Ooh, that sounds fancy. I need to cut off the corners here. One, this pattern on black fabric looks amazing. It, it does. I've seen them. It looks amazing. Okay. Cut the corners, and then I'm going to need this thing. This thing has now become a sewing tool. <laughs> Y'all know what this is? A, like, a, like a bone folder, basically. A score. You could also um, do like this for like on paper for to make petals and stuff. But it has now become a sewing tool. I'll turn this pillow inside out. I did the last step, you do have to iron it down. The last step is to iron it. But now I go in here with my little pokey tool and I poke out the corner. Here's my corner. Go to the next one, poke out that corner. Like I said, the real last step is to iron it, but I won't do that here because I've already been alive for like three hours. <laughs> Let's poke out this corner here. Let's poke out this other corner here. Yeah, it's an embossing tool. There you go. There you go. Of sorts, yes. And now that we've poked out the corners, now we have a pillow. I love how um, I love how at this stage it kind of is kind of fluffy. You see how it's kind of like fluffed up. You can iron it down to make it a little bit flatter. But honestly, with the pillow, it kind of springs back. So there's my freaking pillow. <laughs> It's so bright. Isn't it fun, Miss Jen? It's just the funnest fabric. I'm going to have to send one over to Miss Rafa. These are just the funnest fabrics. Um, and they're all scraps. They're just a bunch of, bunch of scraps, little scrappy dudes that I had fun with. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be it, you guys, as far as my, as far as this pillow adventure. Obviously, I'll make more pillows, but I don't know if I'll do it live again. It's just so much, so many videos. And like I said, this is not a sewing channel. But I do thank you guys for following along with me on some of these non-junk journal type videos. Again, I'm not a sewing channel. And this is not a, tut this is not a tutorial. It was just a follow along to come in and uh, do some projects here that I was doing with me. 
But um, thank you guys so much. I'm glad you did this live. So inspiring. Thank you, Pam. Okay. Maybe I'll do them live in the future. <laughs> we will see. But I had so much fun. Um, the video that I followed, the pattern that I followed is all down in the description box below. So if you did want to do it yourself, you can. Um, the only thing I say is that the instructions say to do this, these squares a different size. They're all, for me, I just did them all four by four. I didn't cut out any other different sides except for this. The corners here were three by three. But anyways, thank you guys so much for following along with this series. Um, if you did like it, I mean, I'd probably come back live at some point when I do other pillows. Um, but I would, I would appreciate y'all hanging out with me. And uh, thank you guys so, so much for your support. I have sold, I think, like 13 journals the last week or so. So I still have some left. If you are looking for some nice um, junk journals, handmade junk journals, I do have some up in my store. And um, they are on clearance right now. So I'm trying to make some room. Uh, for the next journals that I do. So if you would like to show some support to me and my channel, you can check those out. As well as, of course, I have dark journal printables on my on my store if you guys are interested in that. And uh, I will put these pillows up for sale eventually. I don't know when. I don't. <laughs> I don't know when, but I will figure it out and we'll get them. We'll get them on there. If you are interested in one, let me know and I can, I can probably whip one up for you. Um, but anyways, yeah, that's going to be it for me tonight, you guys. We'll come back tomorrow, and we'll do some junk journal stuff. Okay, we'll get back to the main subject of this channel. <laughs> okay, everybody have a good night. Thank you all so, so much for hanging out with me again. Uh, thank you all for keeping me company while I went through this crazy journey. <laughs> this crazy, obsessive journey that I'm on right now. Everybody have a good night. We'll reconvene again tomorrow. Thank y'all again. Bye.